Go to Nintendo.com. Wow. <laughs> Nintendo's latest patent shows portable screens capable of interacting with one another, plus a lot of banana rubbing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm, so, we're gonna get demonetized. <laughs> we got demonetized on the last rubbing. one. For uh, hey, I'm doing really good. I said Jesse, butts earlier. Jesse said a bad word yeah, last time. I, I know. <laughs> I came to check the stream and I saw him like whisper it straight into the microphone, and I was like, <gasps> anyways. Hi, it's his little brother. Hey, Jesse's brother. Aw, that's your guest. Hello. All right. Bye. <laughs> That kid's he's pretty good at Breath of the Wild, isn't he? Yeah, he, he beat <laughs> Breath of the Wild before I did. He beat it. Wow! Jesse. I'm really confused by this entire odd article. First off, it was written by Raw Meat Cowboy. Yeah, that's oh, a normal that's, name that's to have. Order. That's um, it Kevin, also makes he, a lot of mention, like, you can place the screens together to create a single image, which I think is pretty cool. But you can also touch the screen and rub sexy looking bananas across all of the screens this, i think those are very normal this looking was actually <laughs> i have a lot of questions was, I think for you this mock-up was actually made by a yiga member obviously that, yeah that makes I, sense. you know what that's kind of what i'm feeling right now i'm looking at this and there's lots of bananas yeah. you're clearly obsessed with bananas so unless i'm lazy there is an image on the screen that you can look at right now uh, for the people, actually, just to make it easier. There we go, guys. We can all see the banana and the fingers. <laughs> but there is an actual game below where it shows, uh, like, bowling, yeah. I guess. Yeah. All right. I guess so. It's a, it's a little, little weird. Yeah. So, uh, basically what this is, it looks like you take the Joy-Cons off of your Switch. The Switch acts like the main screen. Mm -hmm. And then you can have these other portable Switch-like screens that you can put to the side or below it or whatever. It connects somehow, and it create like it. It all works together to make an image similar to if you've ever seen when people put like three computer monitors together and play a single game covering all three screens. It's right. essentially the same thing. And then the image below it, it has two Switch-like screens in the shape of like the way a ds would be to where it's like foldable so nintendo made the switch to get away from the two uh screen type interface but then it's like yeah. now they're like we took away one screen and we're giving you even more so i don't know what they're trying to do uh, it's nintendo so they could do something really interesting with it i don't see a feasible or like viable purpose for this other than a 10 second cool factor to where someone yeah that's kind of what i was thinking yeah. someone like walks up to a desk and they're like oh that's cool like it's different screens but it's all on the same thing but then they're like how do you Kay. play games like but it's like game. I, the I, banana <laughs> is the game <laughs> yeah and then uh I, I just don't understand it. But I do want to bring up, um, there was an article listing that went up a long time ago. It's been taken down now, but we have a video talking about it, Daniel and I, before we actually began the podcast. And it was an article from Nintendo where they were hiring people to work on new hardware. And this was right before the launch of the Switch. So mm -hmm. common sense would tell you all the hardware conceptualization and everything is done for the Switch because they're getting ready. It's already being manufactured. They're getting ready to launch it. So if they're hiring people to work on new hardware, obviously it's not going to be the Nintendo Switch. So maybe this ties in with the new hardware that they were talking about. Or it could have just been like an entirely new console. Or this could be a new console. Nintendo's yeah, like, hey, even for... Like a accessory or to the console you know yeah because nintendo did say uh in again a different interview uh with kimishima mm. they said that their plan wasn't to release a different version of the nintendo switch to make money but release different accessories for the switch mm -hmm. so like we've seen the first set come with nintendo labo so maybe next year instead of cardboard we just get different screens 
with bananas. Yeah. You want Honestly, to stream. I think the idea of it is really weird because it would technically only work if you had multiple consoles or you just walked up to someone else's console and you were like, boop. Hey, you want to <laughs> touch a banana with me, stranger? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there, there was uh, also the patents that Nintendo had where it was like a headset. If you guys know what the, the headsets that you can oh, put like a cell phone in to have like the, the, ch- the cheap VR experience. Nintendo the had one. Yeah, Nintendo had uh, patents for a headset that you could just put your Switch into. Yeah. And then it would, would work really as VR. Heavy. Yeah, it would. You know? And then if, <laughs> if someone left the controllers on them, like you would, it would look like weird antennas. <laughs> and I you had know. to use the controllers and you're just <laughs> holding it. <laughs> yeah. And it would be super blurry as well. Because I I have the the PlayStation VR. Um in a past podcast you could have seen it sitting over here, but it's not there now. <laughs> but there's like even on it and it has like a realm 1080 resolution. Mm-hmm. So like the Switch only has 720. So it's even lower than what the psvr is and the psvr like it's still everyone calls it uh like the screen door effect or a screen window effect because you can see like the tiny little square lines between all of the little pixels and i can imagine if you have your face up close to the nintendo switch since it has an even lower resolution it would even be more noticeable so probably really hard on your eyes yeah be that close to the screen i don't know yeah okay uh final thoughts on the bananas guys in the comments let let us know what your thoughts are of these bananas there's something really weird going on in the comments right now apparently i'm princess hilda sure Uh huh is that uh axel is gonna be skull kid Mm -hmm. wait Oh no. I see a lot of really cool people in the losing, comments. I limos. We have Gibbs, we have Miss Click, we have Axel who for some reason is not a moderator. Let's fix that. The fact that uh losing Lemos saying I should be Tingle is uh <clears throat> mildly <have> upsetting. <laughs> the one who's a Patreon supporter, so he should be a moderator as well. Oh. Um Thank you for supporting us on Patreon. Now you must work. <laughs> work for us. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Uh, banana... Like... Is, is what there it, any water reference? The banana thing? I don't know. That could be. <laughs> that... That could be. You just made banana it sad, Daniel. Banana. I'm sorry. <laughs> he just... But I just kept thinking about him holding the bananas. <laughs> no, I was actually... When I got my win earlier, funny story on uh, Fortnite, I got my win while listening to the Gaming Historian's Iwata video. Ah, Gaming Historian is wonderful. Yeah. And that's a really good video. Also a very long video as yeah. well. I think that's I, a half hour video. I loved the way that he did it. Because when I would have passed away, there was a lot of people put out like history of or five things you didn't know about I want mm-hmm. His was actually good because like the quality was there. But then like, uh, did you know gaming had a video that seemed like just a mm-hmm. cash grab? Because it seemed like they only yeah. did it because it was popular at the time. Because that's what they always do is if there's a new version of a game coming out, like... Uh, mm-hmm. I guarantee within the next two weeks there'll be ten things you didn't know about God of War because God of War's coming out. So, like, whenever they did it, I was like, they're just following the trend, so I don't really like that. But when Gaming Historian does it, like, he did an hour... It took an him hour, a while, too. Yeah, like... He did it a while later. He didn't do it as soon as it came out. He didn't rush it. And then, like, the Tetris video that you were talking about earlier, it was an hour-long video about Tetris. Tetris is never okay. trending. Tetris is never like the hot new thing. So like he didn't do that for a cash grab. He did that because it's like I really enjoy this. I think Tetris is interesting. I'm going to do this. And then with the Iwata thing, like you said it took however long. I think it was like yeah, it was, a month or two it was a few, maybe. It was a while after yeah. Iwata passed away that he put out that video. But it's good he didn't rush it, because the tone was there, and it felt very sincere as well. 
um, which is something a lot of other videos that's, that were about Iwata kind yeah. of lacked. Gus is uh, saying Game Historian's awesome. All right, so I he is awesome, <laughs> Gus. I think we we talked uh, a bit about the. Uh, whatever the banana thing is but that is a good point daniel that could be i was joking saying it was a reference from the yiga clan but maybe that's yeah. that could be why the yiga clan love bananas as well like there's already the three tributes to iwata in breath of the they wild probably just keep going yeah like yeah. there there's the the lord of the mountain is that yeah. what they called him the Lord of the yeah, Mountain? Yeah, the Lord of the Mountain, that yeah. ghost. Who's like horse. the spirit, spirit of the mountain or whatever, which is... Mm -hmm. uh, and then the mountain itself is named after Awada. And then they're... Oh yeah, they say that he... The spirit of the mountain like watches over everyone. And it's supposed to be a reference to Awada watching over everyone at Nintendo. Mm -hmm. um, and then the mountain itself, I think, is named after... Awada, and then there's the, like, the character that tells you about the mountain looks like Awada. So there's already the three references in Breath of the Wild. They could have made it a running gag that all of the Yiga clan love bananas so much because that's the meme that everybody knows Awada from. <laughs> so, yeah. But then it's like, does that make Awada Ganon, the Dark Overlord? <laughs> because the Yiga worship the bananas... And they're the bad guys, so who knows? I don't know, but you know, um, Maz Koshia, who's like the Sheik, the Sheikah monk that you fight at the end of Champions Ballad. Yeah. Spoilers. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, he will also react the same way if you drop bananas as yeah. a Yiga clan member. So interesting. Food for thought. Maybe this goes back before the Yiga. Maybe it's just a Sheikah thing. <laughs> You yeah, it, it could be. Like, it just carried over from when they were all Sheikah. Yeah. The stock... Then the Sheikah now just sort of... They have the stockpile of bananas, they, though. That's... They know how to. <laughs> the stockpile of bananas is hilarious. Just a room full of bananas. Yeah. Someone should, like, make a, like a, a <laughs> cut, like a little 30-second short film where, like, at the beginning of Donkey Kong Country, when all of his bananas are gone... Oh my goodness. And then like he, he goes in there, he the looks Yiga around, clan. and then it shows the Yiga clan with all the bananas. <laughs> ah, now you're onto something. <laughs> oh. Yep. Someone's gonna steal that idea. Oh that no. Sucks. Don't Oops. take it, guys. You people don't watching. Don't steal that idea. Don't do it. I'm gonna make a quick 30 second video tonight, putting that together. So don't do it before I. Better do it fast, man. Yeah. Because it, it's a good idea, though. It is. That's Alright, <laughs> uh, take us uh, to uh, our next piece of news. Nintendo's Shinya Takahashi. Yes. That guy, whose name I will not attempt to pronounce. 